Fragments battle between Paris Corner and Fragments World. Coming up. Hello friends, I'm George, the nice manic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some Fragments content and it's time for another episode of Fragments Battle. But today's episode of Fragments Battle will be a little bit different. Today will be more like, uh, you know, fun in games rather than straight up comparing a few clones of the same original Fragments. Today I'm going to compare two clone brands, Paris Corner and Fragments World. I've picked up two pairs of Fragrances uh, from both brands that are cloning the same original scent. I'm going to compare them in two different rounds and then at the end of the video I'm going to share a little bit of my thoughts when it, come to both, when it comes to both brands, Paris Corner and Fragrance World. For round number one I'm going to compare two scents that are called Suits from Fragrance World and Rifakat Adorn from Paris Corner because both scents have been very heavily inspired by YSL Tuxedo. So I'm going to leave the other two on the side for the moment and I'm going to talk about these two. Now Suits has been around for a while and it's a pretty well known clone in the community of YSL Tuxedo. Rifakat Adorn is one of the later releases from uh, Paris Corner. I think this fragrance was released uh, somewhere in the summer, so a few months ago. So this is pretty new to the markets. Suits is very well known. It's actually very well regarded as a very good clone of uh, Tuxedo. Whereas Rifakata Dorn, still a lot of people don't know about this fragrance or have not tried it. And it's a, different, it's a very interesting take on the Tuxedo DNA. Suits from Fragrance World indeed does a very, very good job at, uh, you know, copying the original fragrance uh, being that tuxedo smells very similar carries very similar scent to the original fragments relying on a lot of spices relying on a heavy dose of a patchouli note some rose some uh, vanillic sweetness all around this actually smells uh, very very similar to the original but feels like a slightly softer version of a tuxedo to my nose tuxedo smells uh, a little bit more spicy it has a stronger patchouli note but at the end of the day i think uh, fragments world have done quite a good job with suits capturing the original scent for a fraction of the price they've even gone as far as cloning uh, pretty much you know the bottle design and all around the quality here is good and to this day this remains a very affordable alternative to tuxedo when it comes to rifakata dorn as i said this is a somewhat of a new release still a few months old uh, this is part of the uh, rifakat line the other fragrance from this line is also a ysl clone but that one is cloning uh, ysl baby cat rifakata dorn of course is a clone of tuxedo you get the pressurized sprayer with this fragrance which is the first thing to point out eh? and it's a, a very interesting and a nice touch but also this feels quite different compared to both suits and the original scent uh, from uh, YSL it's still somewhat similar to tuxedo especially uh, on the dry down but the opening here is quite different this feels uh, more woody like a more woody take on the tuxedo scent uh, itself this has i think uh, the addition of an agar wood note which is uh, to my nose in this fragrance used as a top note which adds a slight hint of skankiness in the opening making it a little bit different uh, compared to tuxedo itself also this to my nose uh, has a uh, slightly stronger floral scent uh, compared to tuxedo this i think also has the note of violet along with the rose so it's a slightly floral take uh, in the opening and the mid dry down and on the deep dry down of this fragrance uh, it gets quite close to tuxedo but still feels a little bit more woody slightly drier all around if i have to uh, pick up a winner when it comes to how close uh, it is to the original fragrance i would go with suits which feels like a straight up clone whereas rifakata dorn feels more like an uh, interpretation feel more, feels more like an inspiration rather than a straight up clone when it comes to performance Rifakata Dorn is actually a little bit better performing uh, scent compared to Suits total longevity is pretty similar but I would say that Adorn gives me about half an hour maybe even up to an hour longer uh, lasting power compared to Suits and this also definitely projects better than Suits because of that um, agar wood note in the opening this tends to be quite sharp and quite strong uh, in the first hour or two when it comes to the price at least what I've paid uh, for both of them uh, Suits is a slightly cheaper uh, you know uh, fragrance uh, and it's probably somewhere between 5 to 10 euros cheaper compared to Rifakata Dorn 
or around if I have to pick up a winner when it goes to how close of a fragrance it feels to the original scent, I would say that the winner in this uh, in this round of fragrance pattern will be suits because it simply gets closer to the original scent. But Rifacata Dorn is an interesting interesting take on the original scent, and it's also a little bit stronger, but it's also a little bit more pricey. Moving on to round two, where I'm going to compare two clones of Armani's Stronger With You Oud. On one hand, we have Proud of You Oud from Fragrance World, and on the other hand, we have a Veteran Oud from a Pandora Scents and a Paris Corner. Now, Stronger With You Oud is a very nice, very interesting uh, flanker to the Stronger With You line, still carrying that very signature sweetness and warmth of the original fragrance, but having an addition of an Agar Oud note, just to spice things a little bit up, uh, to make it feel a little bit more mi Middle Eastern. First of all, I'm going to talk about Proud of You Oud. Again, we're having a bottle that looks a very, very similar design-wise to the original scents from Armani. And in this case, we also get a pressurized sprayer with the Fragrance World. And the scent itself actually feels a very, very similar to the original Fragrance. In fact, in fact both scents are, get a very, very close to the original. You get that very sweet, very warm scent that has a lot of vanillic sweetness, a lot of ambery sweetness, that has a chestnut note, that has a bit of an agar oud note, maybe a hint of leather somewhere in the background. But in the case of a proud of you oud, uh, this actually has a slightly skanky opening, slightly skanky feeling uh, and animatic feeling agar oud note in the opening. Other than that, that feels even a little bit stronger compared to the original scent. Other than that, feels very, very similar in the opening and especially on the dry down and all around Fragrance World have actually done a very good job at replicating the original scent. When it comes to Veteran Oud from uh, Paris Corner, again we have uh, a very similar scent, but this one here feels a little bit fresher, just like a hint fresher compared to a Proud of You Oud. Also the, the Agar Oud note in here feels a little bit softer, not as animalic and as skanky as the one that uh, you get in the Fragrance World scent. Other than that, very similar, again, vanillic and amber sweetness, some chestnut, a hint of leather, but this just feels slightly softer and just a hint fresher in the opening. Both actually have pretty good quality and get very, very close to the original scent. But if I have to pick up a winner scent-wise, uh, I would go with Veteran Oud, simply because this has a slightly higher quality in my opinion and also just feels a little bit easier to wear because it lacks that uh, animalic uh, feeling in the opening of the fragrance, unlike what you get with Proud of You Oud. But Proud of You Oud is also a very, very nice interpretation of the original fragrance. When it comes to their performance, in this case, Proud of You Oud is probably slightly longer lasting, uh, maybe like half an hour up to an hour longer lasting. So we're talking about seven and a half to eight hours of performance after some maceration. Veteran Oud is more close, is closer to the seven hour mark. When it comes to projection, both of them actually, I would say, are pretty much on par. You should expect a moderate projection for about an hour and a half, maybe up to two hours if you overspray. And price-wise, they're very equally priced. Usually around Europe, they tend to cost somewhere between 25 to 30 euros, which means that both of them are pretty good deal considering that uh, the original scent is uh, quite expensive. But if I have to pick up a personal winner in this uh, round two between Veteran Oud and Proud of You Oud, for me the winner here will be Veteran Oud because uh, I think the quality that, is off that it offers is slightly higher compared to Proud of You Oud. And at the end, a few final words uh, about, you know, the outcome of today's episode of Fragrance Battle. As I said, this is more like fun and games today's episode because I'm comparing, uh, you know, a pair of scents uh, from each uh, brand and uh, I'm going to compare the two brands uh, right now at the end of the video. Now, they're both of them are clone brands or what we nowadays call clone brands, but they feel uh, quite different to each other. Fragrance World uh, has uh, started to, you know, pick up quite a lot of traction in the past few years for a good reason. They've been stepping up their game, they've been offering uh, new and new fragrances that are very close to the original scents that they have been inspired by. The quality is starting to get better and better, although their pricing also seems to be increasing a little bit. But all around, uh, you know, Fragrance World is uh, one of the main players on the clone market or clone fragrance market currently and again for a very good reason when it comes to paris corner it's uh, one of the old guys uh, in the field uh, it's you know this fragrance brand has been around for a while and uh, it 
you know, Paris Corner are doing things uh, slightly different compared to, for example, Fragrance World and uh, Latafa as well. They don't, uh, they're ve they very rarely do straight up clones. Uh, more often than not, they will do, you know, some inspirations with some twists on them. Pretty much what you see out of the brand of Armaf as well. And I respect that. They don't uh, clone, you know, the, the bottle designs and the presentations of the original fragments. Another thing that I really respect a lot. And especially lately in the past uh, year or so, they have seemed to quite up, up, uh, you know, step up their quality game as well. So currently for me, Paris Corner, uh, Fragrance World, excuse me, is the slightly better brand uh, simply because they're putting out fast, faster, you know, new products faster. And I think uh, in general, they offer a slightly better performance and quality. But Paris Corner uh, as well, especially lately, have also stepped up their game. And at the end of the day, right now, they also offer quite a, a good number of quality products. So guys, this was all for today's episode of Fragrance Battle. I hope that you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some Fragrance content. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.